Thomas here. Thank you for sticking with me for these nine thought experiments that I have been sharing with you. They are the thought experiments that went into each of the nine songs on my album, I Am A Highlighter Pen. Uh, it's been really cool for me to get to share these with you. I hope you've enjoyed kind of obsessing over the songs, which was the idea behind the quote unquote 10th thought experiment that I shared at the very beginning of the series. What if obsession could be a positive guiding force in our lives? This week is our final episode. That means I'm sharing the thought experiment behind track nine, Our First Day. The pair of lenses that I was giving a whirl on this song is this. What if I could let myself feel today the way I imagine I'd feel if I were living in my hoped for future. Now let me ask you, did you know that this song is family with track three, Future Moving? The text for both looks at future living and they're also connected musically. For those just joining us, I'll recap that when I wrote these songs, it was a speed writing, speed producing challenge to create nine songs within a month. They're on my album in the exact order that I wrote and produced them. When wrapping up track three, I mindlessly tagged on this outro, a 100% separate musical idea from the rest of the song. It felt like a new song that I wanted to express. But um, as I soon found out, it wasn't ready to be born just yet. Weird little outros aren't typically synonymous with solid pop form. To play it safe, I could have removed it and waited for a full song to become clear, making an entire track out of it then. Plus, if the complete song never panned out, there'd be like no vestigial traces of a failed concept. <laughs> but a thought that wouldn't leave me was if the song would be born and join the album, with this outro, I'd be living the actual concept of the song Future Moving, feeling the future moving through me. Whew, I was struck by how magical and powerful that would feel. It'd feel like proof the thought experiments I'd been carrying out were worthwhile. It'd feel so satisfying when my vision would come to life. I'd be so proud and confident in my ability to carry out my inspired plans. Feeling into how I wanted to feel, I opted to act and trust that this would work. That action was that I left the outro in. Flash forward to the end of the challenge, the final song. I'd been working feverishly to churn out these new tracks every three days, all month long, and I felt tired. I was looking for some hidden inner strength to push on. The outro, of course. Imagine my gratitude that my past self had been so courageous as to feel into the feelings in that moment that it wanted to have as my reality in the future. This gave me a gentle reprieve when I was experiencing weariness from the project, while also giving me the experience of seeing my vision come to life, which did ultimately create the feelings I'd longed for back when I took the leap of faith to act upon them. It's truly one of my favorite conceptual art accomplishments thus far. Now I want to talk about something else for a second. Fake it till you make it. It's a phrase that implies there's something false or fake going on, and I'd like to share why I'm not down with that, plus offer an alternative. It starts with a story of how I've functioned on an emotional level for much of my life. As far back as I can remember, if I'm in a negative mood and something shifts where it'd be actually pretty okay for me to switch to a positive mood, it does not feel okay to just poof, switch over. As much as I dislike a stinky mood, abandoning an active one for a smile has felt disingenuous. Or like I'm being asked, although by whom, nobody knows, to pretend that things were never bad enough to cause that mood, whether they actually were or not isn't the point here. There's value in letting yourself move through your genuine emotions at any tempo that's organic, right? However, there's also such a thing as resisting a shift toward the positive when an opportunity presents itself in a way that would also be organic. 
I actually talked about this in the episode about the song Frown Fetty a week ago. I know I've experienced this a lot personally. One way people distance themselves from positive emotions is by daydreaming about the future. How if things one day change from how they currently are, experiences and emotions that feel locked away out of reach right now will become available then. Most of the time, however, they aren't actually locked away. And have you ever noticed that the future never comes if you continually postpone tomorrow from becoming a today? But how to make the shift then? This is where some people suggest to fake it till you make it, but I like to apply this method instead. Act like someone who... fill in the blank. In this case, act like someone who feels the way you want to feel. The reason I prefer this is because then you're actively taking real actions, nothing fake about it. I've been working with this approach for years now, and it has totally changed my moods experience. Where I used to brood long past brooding's freshness date, I now say, so I wish I felt XYZ? Okay, act like someone who feels XYZ. I know from experience this sounds overly simplistic at first, but when you start doing it, it is astonishing how quickly you'll find the things you'd hoped for tomorrow are real for you right now. So that was the thought experiment on this song and that outro situation from track three with the future moving, the whole thing just came together in a way where this song for me really feels like the perfect culmination of all these thought experiments and the whole concept of this album. And so I just really hope that there's been something in at least one of these thought experiments that has led you to be provoked to thought or tickled your brain or just made you appreciate the songs on a different level. I hope that you have felt free of spirit to act like someone who's a little bit obsessed with these songs by learning about all of these thought experiments behind the songs. Thank you so much for joining me and I will be seeing you routinely all over the web. Come and find me. You can also come support more videos like this and get access to the making of these videos if you join my Patreon, which is at patreon.com slash gtthomasmusic. Uh, you can join as low as a $3 membership per month and have access to all kinds of goodies. So thank you so much, and I will see you around. <laughs>